preparation for the crystallization process, seat the ceramic structure on an IPS Emax CAD crystallization pin XS. Begin the seating process by filling the interface of the IPS Emax CAD ceramic structure either with IPS object fix putty or flow. Seal the syringe immediately after you have removed the material to prevent it from drying out. Press the IPS Emax CAD crystallization pin excess only slightly into the auxiliary firing paste so that it does not touch the wall of the ceramic structure. If the pin is pushed in too deeply, cracks may develop in the ceramic structure. Using a plastic spatula, adapt any displaced firing paste from the margin to the support pin so that the pin sits firmly in the paste. Scrupulously remove any residue adhering to the outer surface or occlusal surface using a brush moistened with water. Then, dry the surfaces again. Only use the IPS Emax CAD Crystal Glaze Shades and Stains to glaze and characterize the ceramic. Squeeze a small amount of the ready-to-use IPS Emax CAD Crystal Glaze Paste onto a mixing pad and mix. If necessary, dilute the glaze paste with a small amount of IPS Emax CAD Crystal Glaze and Stains liquid. Use the same method for the IPS Emax CAD Crystal Shades and Stains materials. Apply the glaze paste in an even coating onto the outer surfaces and the occlusal surface of the hybrid abutment crown. Make sure that no glazing material reaches the bonding surface to the tie base or the screw channel as this may compromise the accuracy of fit. Characterize the emergence profile using IPS Emax CAD Crystal, Shades and Stains and imitate the natural dental roots. If you would like to enhance the chroma on the buccal surface, apply IPS Emax CAD Crystal Shades or Stains. For imitating the incisal area, apply IPS Emax CAD Crystal Shade Incisal to the incisal aspect. If you would like to apply minor shape adjustments, for instance at the proximal contacts, use IPS Emax CAD Crystal Add-on. Mix a small amount of IPS Emax CAD Crystal Add-on powder with a small amount of IPS Emax CAD Crystal Add-on liquid to achieve a consistency that is easy to contour. Apply the mixture directly to the areas in need of adjustment on top of the unfired glaze. Perform the crystallization firing in a programmat furnace, for instance a programmat CS2 with pre-installed program settings. When selecting the program, pay attention as to whether the ceramic structure has been milled from an LT block or an MO block. Place the ceramic structure in the center of an IPS Emax CAD crystallization tray and place the tray in the center of the furnace. Start the selected program. Once the firing process is completed, remove the IPS Emax CAD crystallization tray and the ceramic structure from the furnace. Allow the restoration to cool to room temperature in a place protected from draft. Remove the IPS Emax CAD crystallization pin excess from the ceramic structure. Remove residue adhering to the ceramic structure either in a water bath or with a steam jet. Do not use aluminium oxide or glass polishing beads to remove IPS object fix putty or flow residue. At the end, check the fit of the crystallized, glazed and characterized ceramic structure on the tie base.